Boston's Museum of Fine Arts staged an exhibition that recreated the feeling of the international fashion world experiences on a regular basis. I think there's a fascination throughout the world and what goes on in the runways of Paris in particular um, and this show is kind of bringing that to the people but at the same time allowing them to look up close. Is it art? Is it marketing? Is it still wearable? Um, just what is it? The exhibition really came from that question and evolved from there. Here she shows various artists. They are of course very different but they belong to the same world. When you see the gowns in this exhibition, I think people will realize they truly are works of art, works of imagination, great craftsmanship, and of course, spectacular materials. In the end, we have the fall 2006 ready-to-wear collections and the spring-summer 2006 couture collections. Yoji Yamamoto was one of the designers I really wanted. I wanted to represent the kind of Japanese sensibility that you've seen in Paris since the early 1980s. He is such a master tailor, a master at what he does. Um, we were thrilled he agreed to participate in the show and bring his work here to Boston. Victor and Rolf represent an approach to the runway show that is more modern, more contemporary, and we really wanted to represent that younger kind of approach, which is, I think, more um, idea-based. They use their collections and their runway shows as kind of social commentary or political commentary or even to comment on the industry itself. Hussein Chalayan was invited to participate in the show again because he's one designer who has a more idea-based approach to his art. He's very thoughtful in what he does and there's always um, a lot deeper meaning to his clothing. I think when you see the exhibition, the transition from the ready-to-wear to the couture is quite striking and you really get a sense of the difference in the role of the couture within the industry. I think the couture really is kind of a, sets the ideas, you know, for the industry and things kind of trickle down from there. Of course, with couture, you have a lot of liberty that you don't have in ready to wear. Well, Lacroix really embodies the French couture tradition. He was, you know, really influential in reviving the couture in the 1980s and has had a very important role within the industry and I think is, is enjoying a kind of revival uh, right now, although he wouldn't tell you that. He'd say he's always been there, but I think people are beginning to appreciate him anew and what he's done. And I felt it was important to include him for that as well because he's a Frenchman. Well, I think he's actually very important in terms of how the runway show has developed over the last 10 years or so. I think Bernard Arnault at LVMH was um, extremely savvy in the way he used Galliano and Galliano's th theatricality to kind of revive the House of Dior and bring attention to it. And I think, you know, Galliano's work has really done that because he's influenced by so many things. Um, and his runway shows, he tells stories almost with them. And he, they're quite extraordinary performances. Valentino, to me, really does represent the haute couture tradition. He began his training in Paris in the late 1950s, 1960s, and trained with some of the most important couturiers of his time. Jean Dessay was one of his big influences. And I wanted to represent that in the show. Uh, he's, he's a beautiful craftsman. He really knows his draping is superb. And this collection really, I think, is all about draping. One of the things about Lagerfeld's um, couture collections for Chanel is he takes complete advantage you know, of the couture tradition in his work and really you know, understands it and exploits it to the nth degree. Some of the dresses in his collection um, are up to a thousand hours alone just to embroider the dress. And then there are hours and hours put into all of the dyeing, the tool that goes into the skirt, layering them, fringing them, and adding dyeing and adding the flowers as well. And then this piece too, which is completely covered with sequins, also is, I think just about 900 hours to work that. It's not only clothes, it's music, production, direction, art direction. And you cannot just show clothes, you have to put them in a total message. Despite all the work and the hours and the anxiety and everything else that goes into it, it is truly a moment in time and then it's over and we move on. And that's, and that's fashion.